this is Michelle from m and Model Railways, and today I hope you will um, come join me. I'm going to be starting to build our little barn that we did, or that we got. Um, this is what it's going to look like, and I got the instructions here. Uh, kind of thick, but not, no worries. So, um... I'm going to start building this, so I hope you'll come back and watch how I build this little barn for our train layout. Alright, see you in a little bit. And uh, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to be uh, starting to build our little barn that we got. So I'm going to start with um, reading the instructions a little bit here and there. And uh, so if you'd like to follow along, keep on watching. All right, so I got the directions here. <laughs> All right, so recommended tools and supplies, hobby knife. It says number one, which I got here. Um, number two, paints and brushes of your choice. <clears throat> and I'm not sure what kind of brushes I'll need, but here's a start. And then I got my other ones in my little case over here. And I picked out a few paints. Um, carpenter's wood glue or super glue, which I got super glue. I also got my model glue, and if I need to, I'll use the Elmer's glue. Uh, number four, emery board, small files, and fine sandpaper. I'll get that when I need it. Uh, number six, helping hand, um, which I have right here. This is very handy when I'm doing end scale stuff, and Michael has used it in the past to build uh, some other things. Very, very handy. All right, and number seven, squaring box and weights. And I'll get that as a needed too. All right, so what we're going to do is go to, here's the next page. Just kind of giving you uh, what's in the little package here. Um, like it says here, hopefully you guys can see this. Um just says all the pieces that are in this package, basically. And this one too. And after I get past this one, I will take both of these pages and probably pin them to the wall so I can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to tear these off. All right, so... Starting by painting the walls and window carrier sheets and staining the strip of wood. There's lots of finishing info on uh, on the net and the many RR forms. I'm not going to be going on the internet probably. Um, let's see. <clears throat> so basically, is. To make up the laser cut windows, first paint the parts while they are still in the carrier carrier sheet, but remove any of the window area that is not dropped out. After the paint has dried, turn the sheet face down and using a, sh a share knife, <laughs> hobby knife, uh, with a new blade, it says, carefully score the backing at the taps and peel off backing, then cut out the matching glazing Part from the carrier and, uh, let's see, and press onto window. Only cut the window frame free when you are ready to glue it in place. Photos one and two. 
All right, let's go find these parts. So it says, um, okay, so I'll put this aside. There's all kinds of little pieces in here, so I don't want to lose anything. All right, so I need, looks like, is this the one with the vacuum? No? Okay. Well, I got, there's two pieces here, which is these two. That's going to be needed. Um, I need the windows. So I gotta go back to here, look for windows. Window glazing, doors, door trim, door panel, door panel. So I do need. This one, this is the door panel, carrier E, it says, um, oops, okay, door stripping, no, all right, um, You gotta find this one where it has the sticky stuff on the backing. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Lots of little pieces in here. All right, what's this? Not sure if that's what I need, but I'll figure it out. That looks like what I need. Okay. Is that what I need? Um, turn face down and using a sure knife and blade, carefully score the backing at the top and peel off that. Okay, but first we gotta paint these. So we gotta decide. Uh, what colors I'm going to be painting. Alright, I'm going to get all my parts laid out exactly what I need. <clears throat> so that's that. That's that. Um, Also helps to do the painting while the parts are still in the carrier sheet. Okay, I read that. Um, all right. So I'm going to need. I'm going to need to paint these first, and then the windows. I'm going to paint also. And I can always go back and look at my picture that they gave me. Kind of, I'm going to kind of follow that. But um, also I'm going to get with Michael and we're going to stain some stuff and just make it look realistic. So, um, all right. All right. I'm going to go grab a couple other uh, supplies that I need, and I will be right back. All right, I'm back. So, what I did while I was gone is got a few more supplies um, that I'll need. Um, so, I was going to use my model paints on this, but I didn't like um, how it looked on the wood. I did a sample piece of wood. And I just didn't 
look, um, think it would uh, be realistic like. So I decided to use acrylic paints. So I got my red and I got my white. And then also what I did um, on the wall here, I uh, went on each of the sections, uh, what colors I wanted what. So like on these, um, these two are going to get painted red. These two are going to get red or painted red. And then I just went on down to whatever colors I needed to uh, keep myself on track. So also I uh, went on the little stencils and I like on this one, I wrote red on there. So these two are going to be red. <laughs> And then I did all the other pieces. This is going to be a bottom piece. It's kind of coming out. But all these little tiny pieces are going to be, let's see if you can see them. All these little ones are going to be white. Um, these ones up here are going to be white. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. It's just going to get in my way. Okay. But anyway, these are going to be all white. So I'm going to leave these on the stencil so it'll be easier to paint them. Um, all these ones are going to be red. So, all right, we're going to get started. Um, and you guys can watch me paint. All right. So I got all my little stencils set out. What I need. And this is all what I need to paint right at the moment. Okay, I'm going to start with red.
it's time to paint all the white pieces. So these are the little windows, little window frames, I guess. I'm gonna put those like that. Um, these are the carrier D. So these are gonna be um, these little guys right up in here. You can see so all the little white areas, the X's, and here's the windows. <coughs> this is white. These are the roof, um, roof, rafters. Let me make sure I say everything correct. And then all these little guys um, need to be painted. These are the rafter tails. There's a bunch of them. All right, so I think I'll do the smaller ones first. Get those out of the way. <clears throat> I can set those aside. And look so real. All right, I cleaned up all the red. Now I can put some white on my lid.
those later. All right, so and then let's see what we have next. Yeah, these are gonna need a third coat as well. All right, well, I'm gonna let all this stuff dry and uh, hope you guys come back for the next steps and uh, we'll see you next time.